Hello. Uh, welcome back. It is the second annual um, Adobe Live Holiday Week, which is Woo. honestly the best week of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ellie. I'm Arabella. And we are so excited to be here with you guys today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have not already, please subscribe to the new Adobe Live channel on YouTube. That's how you can stay up to date on all the latest streams and you can participate in the community and so much more. So make sure that you join that. This is a full week of giveaways. There is so much going on. So make sure you check the chat. There's going to be a link where you can download your giveaways for each of the streams. And then if you use any of the giveaways, from any of these streams, if you can use the hashtag Adobe Live Holiday Week 2022, that way we can <laughs> see what you make and we can like and comment and um, just all see all the things that everyone is creating, which is so awesome. So yeah, thank you for being here. Please say hello in the chat. Let us know where you guys are watching from and um, feel free to ask any questions you have as we go along. We're gonna have a really great time today. Um, and with that, I will pass it off to Arabella if you wanna Yay. kind of share a little <laughs> bit about what you're planning on doing in this stream. Yes, so um, I'm sure you've already read the title of the stream, but it's Holiday <laughs> Pet Portraits, which is so exciting. It's actually kind of fun for us too, because normally we um, do product photography. We're yes. the duo behind Weekend Creative. So, um, you know, pet portraiture is definitely, you know, new territory <laughs> for us. <laughs> so so definitely though. a lot of treats on stream or on, um, on the shoe and just yes. like, you know, trying to get um, Ellie's dog, Cooper, who's a cute <laughs> little pug. Um, to to be a little model for us. So anyway, mm -hmm. I'm going to be showing you how to edit some holiday portraits, give them, make your own preset so that you can apply it. Um, we definitely took a lot of pictures. So um, we're going to make, you know, maybe two to three different images. Um, and then I, we even have a gif if we have time. Um, I have a lot yeah. to do. So we'll just kind of get going. <laughs> Um, so I, I have Lightroom open because that's what I usually like to work with. But I have the little image of like an example of what you could do with a pet portrait. Um, mm -hmm. In this case, we decided to go with kind of like a more we're all about color. So we love that like bright red and, and thought that was perfect for this. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll kind of be showing you how we can create something like this and like make a little fun uh, pet pattern, which honestly, like you could totally make into like wrapping paper if you want. Oh, or, my like, gosh. Can you that imagine? Would be... <laughs> okay. Especially if it's like, um, like my sister has an, a dog also she's obsessed with. You could like take your sister's dog and then make <laughs> custom wrapping paper for her exactly. present. Oh my yeah. god! Or like yeah. a print, right? If you wanted yes. to just do like an eight by 10 and like frame it and it'd be so cute. I mean, I would um, hang this in my house. <laughs> right? <laughs> maybe I will. <laughs> I think you should. Maybe, maybe this will be your Christmas present. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. Josh, here you go. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, usually I get started in Lightroom. Um, this is, I just kind of want to show you a little bit of a before and after of what it looks like, um, just so that you guys can see. So this is kind of the before and after, and I've gone ahead and edited a lot of these images kind of already or started to just so I can get to the good stuff. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, I wanted to show you just how we, you know, um, edit this so that we can get going. Um, so here's like another example of just like the before and after, um, here you go. We've edited the colors and all of that. So it's super fun, but what I want to get started first, because, uh, we're going to be doing our own presets, right? So I'm going to show you how to create your own preset specifically, like a little vintage grainy kind of preset. So, um, I just kind of want to get started on this image and then we'll, we'll go over to making a little pet pattern and then maybe we'll do a little gif, which, you know, yes. like having little Cooper pop up. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what we've got time for, but let's get started. So. Um, the right. source files, Arabella, are oh, yes. they available or are they going to be available after the stream? They are available now. So I did include, so for the pattern, I did include like a little bow so that in case you wanted to kind of create your own, if you wanted to shoot your own pet portraits, that's totally fine. But I did include uh, the images, these um, these ones right here, if you want to edit, edit along with us. Yes. Um, and, and it looks I like believe Monica... I have... Oh yeah, go oh, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Annika dropped the link into the chat. So if you are looking for Amazing. them, um, the link is there. So you can go ahead and grab those. Perfect. Perfect. So um, yeah, let's get started on working on this preset. So I have, I've already kind of edited the colors here. So, um, but basically, you know, I'm just going to copy paste kind of the color edits that I've made here, which is just, you know, the color temperature. And I believe I added 
or I checked off the remove chromatic aberration and enable the profile corrections just so that like any lens distortion can be taken care of. So I'm gonna just go ahead and right click, uh, select develop settings, copy settings, and I'm gonna check all, but then I will remove transform, crop masking, and I think, I think that's it. That's probably good. Okay, people are saying that the files are not there so oh, i don't weird. we might have to look into it after the stream okay. um i yeah. know I, I thought i put them in there but i can double check after yeah this, we'll so. double check after the stream yes. i'm sorry about that guys yeah sorry about that um but anyway so we'll get going uh so i definitely copy those settings and i'm just gonna apply them onto this uh image right here Oh, and I think I might have already applied them, but basically this is the before. And if I go ahead and paste them, you'll see that the reds look a lot brighter and mm -hmm. just better. Um, also, shout out to this uh, pug nutcracker because how perfect <laughs> is it? <laughs> it's from Target if anyone wants it one. It is so good. So I'm going <laughs> to do a couple extra edits here. I, I feel like some of the shadows are looking a little a little dull. So like I'm just going to bring them up. Perfect. Maybe the blacks as well. Becca says that um, you could do this with like a little, like photoshopping on a little Santa hat onto <laughs> yes. your dog or cat. Yes, Robert. Oh my gosh. Cat. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I I would love to do a photo shoot with my cats. Although oh my I don't gosh. know how, how good they'll behave like leaving the home. Cats so. are <laughs> so much more, they just don't care about pleasing you as much as dogs so. do. And Cooper's no, just absolutely not. obsessed. So. Yes. Although maybe my other cat would. He's he's definitely he definitely acts more like a dog. So <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna bring this over to Photoshop and we'll get going. So basically, I'm just gonna do very light editing here. Nothing crazy because I do want to get to creating your own preset. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. That's gonna be my sort of clean layer and. I'm gonna grab my stamp brush and I'm gonna make sure that I have like a pretty soft round brush, maybe like, yeah, 60 something percent. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, clean out some of these um, wrinkles on the fabric that we didn't get to. They're not too bad, but they're just, you know, they could be, they could be fixed. Little there distracting. we go. Oh, yeah. it says cats will sit still until you're just ready to take the shot and then walk off. <laughs> I could totally see that yep. happening. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Robert says cats hide when you come with a camera. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Oh my true. gosh. He's so cute. Look at, <laughs> so his name's Cooper and he's just so adorable. He's so fun <laughs> to have on studio. He's our little, he's our little intern. I know he is fun. He's just very um, curious about everything. Yes. So he just wants to get into everything. But... And then he also does not like the pug nutcracker. So... No, <laughs> he does not. He does not. But he is very food motivated, so he's happy to sit and and be a part of a photo shoot if he gets treats. If so. he gets treats, absolutely. Very handy. <laughs> very. Okay, I think that's fine. I mean, this is kind of like an extra edit that we could get into if we wanted to, but I, I don't think it's worth it right now. Okay. Um, And so he just had the perfect little book. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so I'll just use a little bit of the um, spot healing brush to just kind of fix any like little, little uh, smudges here. I love it. It's very easy. And we could see a little bit of the wire from the the bow here we can remove that super easy and there's our little nutcracker or pug nutcracker okay and then now for this little bottom part here so I I know that I'm going to be using the same color from before so I'm just going to go ahead and open this one up so that I'm making sure that I'm using the same color okay so there we go so I'm just gonna grab it from my other image. And of course I would do this normally, just you know, pick a pick a red color, but I want it to all look be seamless. So I'm just gonna grab it from the same one since I've already edited it. But basically I don't have to worry about cleaning the bottom up 
because I'm just going to select all of it with the magic um, magic wand tool, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I always like forget the name sometimes. I'm not always saying them out loud. <laughs> no. Well, I, yeah, and sometimes you second guess. You're like, wait, this is yeah, what it is. is. It and then you say called? it out loud and you're like, wait, I never say this out loud. Is that what it actually is? I know. Or is that what I call it in my head? <laughs> oh, no. I accidentally opened my calendar and there we go. Okay. So now I'm using the polygonal, I know this one, the polygonal lasso tool. <laughs> Just to kind of select all those like little extra things here. Um, I could continue to click on, you know, but then it's going to start grabbing all, we have a lot of red in here. So yeah. it's just like easier for me to just um, add to the selection, right? And something that you want to make sure is that you're not, you don't have create a new selection, but add to selection. Otherwise you would literally start over like that. <laughs> right. So add to your selection. It's looking good. And then just this little section over here. And I want to make sure to also remove this part of the nutcracker. Okay, there we go. And actually, I probably should clean up right here. This yeah, this Annika says same situation. with short, same with shortcuts. I use it all the time on the keyboard, and then I sometimes forget what the actual menu option is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like finding it you're somewhere. Like, <laughs> I know. I always My fingers uh, on... just do this automatically. <laughs> <laughs> on stream I'm always like oh you can also do it this way and then I'm like wait actually that's really? probably not the way <laughs> okay great so everything's looking good but now I want to go ahead and do select and mask um, and this is so that I can make some fine tune adjustments so I'm going to smooth my selection a little bit maybe I'll feather it slightly and then with uh, the refine uh brush edge tool refine edge brush tool is what I use and it's this one right here with a little black stroke um, I'm gonna have that soft brush there and I'm just gonna go around kind of the shadow parts because I do want it to be look a little realistic yeah there and it's nice because it just really does grab it like perfectly um, grabs all the red in that little area nice there perfect okay just a little bit more cool okay i think that's pretty much okay sometimes it's not perfect but i think that's that's pretty good that's okay yeah okay so i'm gonna press okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do layer new fill layer solid color and i'm going to press okay i do not want black so i'm going to paste that <laughs> red that i Beautiful. copied earlier and there we go and it's like such a clean perfectly clean yes. kind of backdrop right there that i like love. don't have to clean up all that dog hair exactly no <laughs> that would be a nightmare <laughs> so i'm going to add another um levels adjustment layer here and I'm going to brighten it up even a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. I think that's, that's good. I might even add another layer adjustment. And I'm going to, this time I'm accounting for the shadows that I want just like slightly. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. And maybe. I'm going to invert my layer mask so that I can just paint in the areas that I actually want. So in this case, I kind of want just a little bit of his face to, to peek in some of the shadows here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, great. Now I'm going to copy, du uh, duplicate the clean copy, and I'm just going to do a little bit of dodging and burning here very quickly. Just kind of brighten the parts that I want. There we go. Oh, too much. I think that one's good. So cute. I just love that. His face. His little worried wrinkles. I know. <laughs> Has anyone else tried doing pet portraits? Because it's, it's a bit of work. <laughs> it is a bit of work. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little tough. Yeah. Yeah, our favorite, um, well, our friend Maria. Yes. Um, she has two pugs. Um, 
and their names are Mango and Kiwi, and she does like the so most cute. beautiful setups with them. There's beautiful editorial images with them. So she was definitely inspiration for us. Oh yeah. Um, when we were like, let's do pet portraits. We were like, let's exactly. channel. Exactly. <laughs> let's channel our friend. All right. So my last step is I'll I just duplicate the last uh, last layer, and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of high pass sharpening. So you can find that by going to filter, other, and high pass. And I'm gonna leave it at 1.8 pixels. Obviously, it looks crazy. So I'm gonna change the blending mode to linear light, and that really punches up the texture there. Yes. I'm going to bring it down a little bit um, to like 70%. I think that's good enough, but that is perfect. So then I go ahead and just save it, Command S on my Mac, but it's going to pop up on Lightroom here as an added, as a, a separate file. And that's where we'll get to do our little uh, preset. So I have it, I have my little um, settings that I have saved to the side so that I could remember what exactly I'm doing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so there you go. That's pretty much how I would edit that. That's like a really fun, um, and we can get wild too and kind of go, you know, um, change colors and all that. But um, that's like all the, that's like extra details. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's our edited. And so we went from that to that, which like makes such a difference. So cute. Okay, so now, making presets is super super easy so basically what you want to do is you want to add in all of your edits to the image and then we'll save it after and that's like something that you can use like over and over again so in this case we're going to do a little vintage grainy edit so um i when i think of vintage grain i think of like faded you know yeah. i think of like that texture so like we're gonna try and bring that out a lot so um usually i try to do like uh the contrast down a little bit let's see like maybe like 50 or something maybe a little less actually because it's already okay and then we bring down the highlights maybe like to 50 and then we'll do we'll up the shadows a little bit maybe like 20 oh it's so cute <laughs> it's the way that he's looking at me well his little head tilt I know. So <laughs> That's minus... what he does when you talk to him. So like I know. anytime wow. anyone like talks to him, he's like, what? He's like, hmm? what? And if you say treat, he'll do that. It's yeah. so cute. What? I he's love like... it. He just tries to understand. So, so someone needs so to bad. find out why they do that. Why why does that happen? I mean, he's like, what like what are you saying? I really feel like, like what? he's trying to figure out. He's what like we're trying saying. to understand. <laughs> I, that's how I feel. I mean, maybe it's not true, but it feels like he's trying to communicate yeah, with me. So cute. I <laughs> he love just it. Wants to, he wants to talk back. He so wants bad. to talk. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So here's like a little bit more. So minus the highlights, we add a little bit of shadows, less whites, um, less blacks as well. And then I also made sure to bring down the clarity a little bit because I feel like when it's vintage, grainy, yeah. there's always like a slight bur blur. It's not always like too, like, you know, yeah, it, kind it of always that like, film quality yeah, that where film it's like quality. Kind of hazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then to, to like push it even further, we go into like the tone curve. And I don't know if you guys have heard of like kind of making like a little bit of an S with the tone curve, but that's kind of what yeah. we're going to be doing. So I add the little points kind of where they're already at. So one in this quadrant, the middle one, and then this one. So I'm going to bring it up. And the S is not, it's not exaggerated. It's really just very it's um, subtle it's subtle yeah it's subtle yeah. so kind of like that but then i go ahead and bring up this uh bottom yes. one up just slightly and then this little uh point i bring over to the left like that so that pretty much adds like that vintage flare right there if you oh, can yeah. tell right like it just gives it a little bit of that right there perfectly okay and then obviously, you know, you guys can do kind of whatever makes sense for um, your colors. Um, I'm going to be working specifically in this red. And I, I believe in the uh, grain preset that I that I have in um, in the files that I will put in. Um, 
they I think I took out the color adjustments that I'm making for this because you know it's gonna totally depend on like yes, what you image you use it colors yeah 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 so in this case for me I, I'm just using saturation here and I, I do want to up the 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 red so I'm gonna go up to 10. I'm gonna uh go down I'm gonna desaturate the orange just a tad and desaturate the yellow a tad as well okay there we go <laughs> Annika Perfect. says dogs are cute. And then Robert says cats can be very talkative also, which is <laughs> true. Oh my gosh. My cats would yeah. not stop talking yesterday. They're meowing <laughs> all day. Oh, and then Becca so says cute, though. pretty sure I tilt my head when someone asks me a question. <laughs> LOL. I'm like, yeah, I probably do that too. What? We all act like a little, like, sort what of, are you, you know. What are you talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> What okay, and then to really bump up that vintage grain, then we're going to go over to the effects section and under grain, we're going to literally bump this up all the way to like 45. Yeah, I love a grainy photo. I love a grainy photo too. And then the size, we're going to do about 40 and about 45 for the roughness. So there we go. That's kind of like, you know, adds that texture there. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for my vintage grainy. I you can go more all out if you want, but that's I mm -hmm. think that's that's pretty good. Um, I might actually go back and and bring up the exposure just a tad. Okay, so then I already saved it here, so like you can tell that it's here, and I think yeah, it probably probably did a lot more contrast there. There we go. Okay. So, or minus uh, contrast, but so basically in this section over here with presets, there's a little plus sign and you want to click on that and then click on create preset. So it's going to bring up this little panel, this little thing um, where it says new develop preset and you can call it V and G preset, vintage and grain preset, right? And you can kind of place it wherever you want. I'm going to leave it in user presets. But this, this right here is where it's important because obviously if you're going to be applying this to other images, you want to kind of be mindful of, you know, not putting in maybe like HSL color, right? The saturation yeah. or like things where it might change. You can leave it and see what happens. But obviously like this, the, yeah. the edits that I made for this are very specific to that red because we, yeah. we shot a lot of red. So I always try to remove transform and I always try to remove um, like any... Um, anything that's too specific to the image. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I'm going to create it and it should show up right here. So then you can apply it to all of your images. So essentially I can go here and apply it to, you know, anything. So that's pretty much how you create your little uh, preset. And that's so awesome. it's like really nice because if you are working on a series of images and you know, yes. you're going to be repeating the same edits or like tr trying to make something cohesive, like yeah. that's the way to go. So, or if you maybe work with one client all the time and there's, you know, yeah. going to be some similar edits on all of their work, things like that. Anything yeah, you can exactly. do to save time and streamline your process, it's yeah. a win. Oh yeah. So that's it. That's that's our little preset, and we're going to be using it for our other images. So, um, in this case, we've got our cute little Cooper over here for a little pattern. Um, we've got him in the looking back, like, what did I do? <laughs> and then we also have this one. So this is the image that I was going to show you guys kind of from, from scratch. Oh my gosh. Um, so again, I'm copying, pasting the, the settings that I have here for the colors, the color correction and the lens correction. So I'm going to paste it. So cute. Oh my god! I kind of forgot about this one. <laughs> With the bow on him. I know. He's so precious. Okay. So I'm going to convert that those document colors and I'm going to leave that there because I'll need it. And then I'm okay with this one since we've saved it. We do want the other image open as well, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that, edit original, <laughs> and it'll pop up. Hanukkah says, OMG, gift Cooper. <laughs> I know. So cute. Okay. So here are two already edited images essentially so what we did with this one is we're gonna just crop it to a four by five <laughs> and there we go i want to make sure that i'm including the shadow because that's important right um especially for the pattern if we want it to look you know like it's on a plane on a surface yeah so i'm gonna just go ahead and clean it up 
and grab my little selection tool, right click, and I love using the fill content aware. And that's like the easiest at like edit in go. the world. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I just the it's the it's the like like the little creases, the little Yeah. It's so cute. The little, it's little curly tail. I love it. It's the okay. Let me see if there's anything else that I need to edit. I know. <laughs> Actually, I think this is pretty good. I mean, like the I love that the paper is so um, so smooth. Yeah. So there's not really a whole lot that you have to do. But I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did earlier in that other pet portrait, where I'm grabbing the entire uh, background here because I do want to smooth out the color. Okay, I'm gonna grab that polygonal lasso tool. There we go. And just select, make sure I get everything here. I know, I feel like this is like a really fun and like kind of like, um, what do you call it? Like pop arty style of like, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, pet photography. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing. Select, select and mask. Uh, I'm going to smooth out that selection and now I'm just going to go all around because you could tell that this red, I mean, if I was going to be yeah. putting it on a different color, this is where it would, you would like really want to make sure you do that. Yes. Um, because I'm it's going to be on red, probably won't be as noticeable, but it's always yeah. just good to be, to refine it no matter what. Yeah. It just be mindful. Yeah. See, it just like picked that up like so quickly. All right. we go i feel like this is like a bit of like speed editing i love it <laughs> i know you're you're flying through i'm flying through you guys if, if anyone's just joining um this is a w life holiday week and arabella is editing um some holiday pet portraits and there will be some files available for you um in the folder we'll double check what's going on with that after the stream but you'll yes. be able to play around with these photos and um you know apply the same yeah. presets or you can make your own presets or whatever you want exactly you do this with your own pets or your friends pets your family's pets okay almost there perfect and then just this last corner right here okay so everything is smooth it's a good Things looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna press OK, and then same thing that I did before. I'm gonna add a fill layer and a solid color. I'm gonna press OK, and I'm gonna paste that red right there. And that looks so good. I love beautiful. it. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Now I'm just going to edit our little Cooper over here. Bring up some of his brights over here. Cause, you know he's the gift he's the he gift. is the he is the gift and he knows he it. is he knows it yeah he's aware <laughs> he's very aware <laughs> so cute okay there we go and i'm using both the dodge and burn tool just to kind of uh bring up those brights and darken those darks okay yeah there you go and then lastly, I'm going to duplicate that layer to add that high pass sharpening again. And sometimes the great thing about like, if you're going to be using the same thing, sometimes filter will remember the last exact thing that you did. So in this case, high pass, so I was able to just click it right then and there. But again, other high pass. And nice. um, yeah, I always like to do anywhere between 1.6 and 1.8. Um, those are like sweet spots. And you can play around with the different blending modes too. You don't have to use linear light. Linear light is just kind of like that more very sharpened look. You can do yeah. soft light. Um, yeah. That's that's a uh, a popular one as well for like just that extraness, but not over the top. Um, I always like to do linear light, but I like to pull it back. So that's like a nice like in between. You could really tell the details too, like just right there to there. Yeah. So nice. Okay. 
Perfect. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just go ahead and make a new document. I'm going to do an eight by, um, actually, let me do a print size so that it's like, you know, oh, actually, maybe it won't show me. So I'll just do a, actually, I guess I could do that. Let's see. I want to do like an eight by 10. Yeah. Like for a frame. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer new fill layer solid color add that same color that i've been using <clears throat> and uh let's see so now i'm just gonna literally grab my my little cooper one two and three <laughs> <laughs> and because i'm using the same color it's not gonna matter like exactly how i place it as long as i get him right. all of it and the thing that I want to make sure I do is I want to do a copy merged and that's going to take all of the layers into account and not Every, like it's all the edits otherwise, that you've done. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, yeah. like, you know, I'd probably only be copying this color or something. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it would not be. So I on Mac, it's command shift C and then I'm just going to paste them right there and grab the others here. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he did something bad. <laughs> I mean, he probably did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to paste all of them right there. I know. I sort of forgot about this one, too. This little pose. It's so cute. I know. And another copy merged and paste. Okay. That looks pretty good. I feel like I want to make this size a little smaller because I think the other ones are a little bit smaller maybe does that look realistic yeah yeah okay similar sizes. Cool. so I'm just gonna grab all of them and kind of all resize them small so that I can make a little pattern okay so let's see so cute <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, now I want to get three pugs. <laughs> Two more. Two more. Okay, there we go. And there's so many ways that you can make a little pattern too. Like, uh, you know, it's, it, that's like the hard part actually sometimes is like figuring out like if you want to like we could do like this little guy like repeated like yeah. diagonally and then rows of the other ones as well right or you can make something more organic um okay now this one feels a little big right I'm, yeah I'm, i think no i think you're right they're just like slightly yeah okay there we go there you go <laughs> okay so we could do something like that and then something like that. I love it. <laughs> Maybe this one needs to go down a little bit. And then this one needs to go down a little bit as well. There we go. Just just making it work. <laughs> yes. Trevor Mike says, yes, pets wrapping paper. Oh yes. my gosh, right? That would be so fun. Tanya says, my Matt thinks he's a husky. He likes to howl and make complaints because he learned it from his sister. <laughs> Dogs? Yeah, they learn from each other. They really do. They do. Yep. Okay, picking up all see. those bad habits. I know. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I need to do something more like this, actually. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. This is looking better. I think I needed to spread it out a little. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> uh, something like that. Okay. And then sometimes I'll, like, have to resize everything, too. Like, I'll, like, right. move things around. Because... I know it's hard because I think like these ones are all like pretty sl small. They're the and same. And then we've got yeah size and shape, and it's so fitting exactly. in the longer one is challenging. Is a little challenging, but I think we can make it work. Oh, not that, not right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I guess it could also... I mean, if they're getting cut off on the edges, that's okay, too, I think. Yeah, that's true. You know? <laughs> that's true. Or I can make it a little smaller, too. I can all, also yeah. just grab these and just, like... Yeah, oh, there we go. And, like, have them be, like, kind of generally in the middle. Yeah. Okay, so if I do that... And then I do that... And this one's right here. <laughs> oh, not that one. This one. There we go. Oh, Rick says that you could flip one for variety. I thought so. I thought that I might do that for this one actually. Yeah. I could. But then the shadows wouldn't be on the right side. Which I guess does maybe doesn't need to. I mean, to this is matter. not a realistic photo. Right, right, <laughs> so, right. I know. We're not going for realism here. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I think in my head I want it to like all make sense. But that's my head. Just yeah. Being... But it might it might work because then it's like you have two kind of two versions of that more horizontal one and then two versions of that more yeah, vertical one. True, true. You know? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So it was this one. No, this one. If I flip this one. Yeah. Like this. And then this one needs to move over like that. How cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Perfect. I think oh, I yeah. like that. Annika says you could flip one of the ones with no shadow. Like the one where he's kind of like looking back. This There's one? not really as much shadow. You could flip that one. Yeah, you're right. If it really bothered you. No, honestly, I think I might try that. Let me see. I don't mind this anymore. I think it like yeah, it perfectly. Yeah, I don't like... mind it either. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> This is the I best. I love this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. I think we're done. I think I think that's pretty okay. much it. Okay. Should you flip one of the middle ones though, so they're not? Oh identical. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're right. Because they're like, like the bottom right one, in there. maybe. Yes. <laughs> so many pugs. I love it. So Monica. many pugs. Yes. Yes. That. That's or it. Or should right I? There. Oh no. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. <gasps> okay that's it i think that's i think it's, i'm happy with that it's beautiful it's beautiful i love it okay perfect so i am going to save that oops i'm gonna save it in my best because i do want to <laughs> show up Let's see. So, Cooper, pattern, print. So, I'm going to save that. Oh, my God. It looks so cute. I love it. I need this many pugs. Enjoy. I know. <laughs> well, okay. One thing that I should have known long ago, but that I only recently started actually doing, is that I can right-click on an image um, in our Lightroom, and it click on show in finder and it'll take me exactly to the folder oh my goodness <laughs> versus like clicking in amazing <laughs> so so there you have it so we have both our little quadruple uh, and then our little uh, dog. So cute. oh my god i love flipping, it so much flipping squealing was a great idea honestly great idea who was that yes. we need to shout them out because yes, it was rick adams thank you rick because that was perfect um amazing Okay, so there we have it. There's our, um, there we go. And I think I, I, did I put all of them here? Yes. Okay. So then I will grab that previous import and put it in here as well. So I like, I like staying organized if I can. So I will, yes. you know, put everything in its respective folder. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and now apply our vintage presets. Um, oh, so yeah. indeed the V and G in there it is. Oh my gosh, that's so I cute. I love it. 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 Okay. 
Um, I actually do want to pull back the grain just slightly. I feel like maybe it's like a little too much. But I think that's almost perfect though. Oh my goodness. There you go. That's that's our vintage grain print pattern awesome. situation. <laughs> and it's so cute. So I love it. We've got something like you can do something simple like this. You can do something like what we did just now. So I mean the possibilities are endless. But um and then we've got our little cute little pug over here. I actually think I might pull back on the highlights a little bit. That way it's a little brighter. There we go. So sometimes I don't, what I'll do is I'll grab all the images from a series to just to make sure that they're like looking that like, you know, like they're a part of. Um... Yeah, make sure they look like they're belonging yeah. together. Yeah, exactly. And you guys can see there's some bow images of just like a bow that we took as well. Those will be in the folder when the folder is fixed. Yes. Um, so that if you guys are creating patterns, you can also play around with like adding a bow as part of your pattern or even like putting a bow on your pet. So exactly. That'll be cool. available to you as well. I mean, we have a few more minutes. Yeah, if you I'm gonna try just get going. working on that GIF and see how far we can get. Yeah. So basically, this is uh, this was our little like gif idea that um, little Cooper would just pop out of the gift, <laughs> <laughs> and as you could tell, there was a lot of photoshopping to be done. <laughs> yes. So I fixed our it ahead of time. Our skills could use some work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our Photoshop skills might be great. But our oh yeah, prepping. Who knows about that? <laughs> All right, so we can uh. do. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Annika says, love the Nutcracker image. The set design with you all is always so fun. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you. And then Jack is joining. If you guys are just joining, um, Arabella is working on some holiday pet portraits. Um, the files will be available for you after the stream. Yes. We'll figure out what's going on with those. So make sure you check back, back in on those. And then, um, yeah, feel free to tag us. If you guys create some pet portraits, please tag us on please um, Instagram. Do. Weekend Creative. And then make sure you use the hashtag um, Adobe Live Holiday Week 2022 um, so that we can, you know, all see and share. And um, yeah, I want to see what you guys create with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cute. I'm just going to say uh, save these and close them out so that I don't have as many <laughs> things open. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So as you can see, here's Ellie. <laughs> putting on a bow there on I am. Him. I was trying to there make the is. bow stay. <laughs> He's so mad. I know. <laughs> so in this case, I am just going to like do a loose. Uh, I don't really need to. Um, you know, I don't need anything else from the image. I just need to like get him. Yeah. But it might be a little challenging actually because he's on a pattern. So we'll see how it goes. But even if we get like this, there we go. Okay. He's so like, then... the things I do for a treat. <laughs> I know. This is my life. So now I'm using my little magic wand tool to sort of, oops. See, you got to like be careful of what to like select because you might select the wrong thing. But I'm just going around and making sure that I have the subtract from selection because I'm going to remove everything around. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I, I will use the select the um, the selected mask. Yes. But I just want something to start with. I mean, I guess I could try doing the select subject, but I think it would select like everything. Yeah. Probably. It's kind of busy. Yeah, it's a bit busy. Okay, so select and mask. I'm going to smooth it out, but then I'll go around with the refine edge brush tool. Who knows if it'll do it like exactly how I want. We'll see. Oh, it's doing a decent job. I can always go back to and remove stuff as yeah. well. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, it's like picking up a little bit of like the box right there. Sure. But maybe we can fix that. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess we'll just kind of leave it at that. Okay. So we'll smooth it and I'll press okay. 
and then I'm going to copy and I am going to, because I've already edited layer one, layer two, I am just going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to copy merge, same thing, just grab everything and then paste it for a new layer. That's going to be my layer three. As in my frame three. Yes. Okay. So then, oh wait, because I copied that, I need to go back to this one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so funny, I can't. <laughs> I mean, okay. that doesn't look too bad. No, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to like go. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to rotate him a little bit go okay and then i'm going to grab or add a layer mask and i'm going to grab a little brush and with the black selected i'm going to bring down the opacity too just so that i don't go wild i'm going to just start removing the stuff from the old uh, box. There we go. Perfect. This is like, I think the best part about like making gifts, if you can like layer mask at all. Yes. Like then the box itself, like can well, stay. When you're not editing the whole image every single yeah. frame. But like, yeah. It's Still, mm -hmm. so. like for example, like with this layer, with these two layers, things did move. Yeah. So, oh, I think these need to be inside layer three. There you go. Okay. Um. So, like you know, obviously, I, I did have to edit both of the images because yeah. things moved in the back and whatever else. But like that's okay. I mean, you know, there's supposed to be a dog that's inside, so. Maybe yes. it's normal that things move a little bit, but <laughs> then it's nice for like the box to then stay still for like the, you know, the, the animation. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I kind of want him to be either over the box, like slightly or, un yeah. or like, you know, yeah, not creating looked a little weird. weird. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Just kind of removing those little. Perfect. There you go. So there's our, our <laughs> third layer. <laughs> Love it. And then because I'm going to need to use the same image, I'm just going to duplicate this one again and there use that go. as my base. You got to help yourself out. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so whatever you can do. And also d definitely name your, name your layers. I'm not doing it right now, but <laughs> <laughs> like these ones, like what is layer seven copy? I don't know. <laughs> you know. All right. So then we've got our next one. So cute. This one might be a little bit easier to like select actually too, which is nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. His face. I know. He's so cute in this one. I know. Okay, perfect. And select everything. And then again, using that magic wand tool to just remove, oh, too much. And sometimes I'll bring down the tolerance so that it like actually like helps with selections too. Then it gets a little bit more detailed. Um, yeah, you I have mean, to click a, a couple more times. So similar. I know. So you just kind of have to like be careful with that. But yeah. Okay. Just something to start with is like really helpful. Absolutely. Okay. I know. I'm sure if you guys can probably hear my clicking. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. 
And then I will help myself and just kind of like do some even quick selections here. There we go. Even if it's not perfect, it's like fine. Okay. I know. I like I like love and hate selections because like I want things to be like really like detailed or like yeah, you know, quote unquote perfect, but <laughs> then it's like the time it takes sometimes. I'm like, yes. oh, <laughs> Okay, I want to leave that there. Okay, and I'm going to bring back what was not selected here. Mm, Rick is asking if the object select tool would work here. You know, I like, is it the, let me see, where is it? Like the select subject or... Is that what he's referring to? Are you referring to select, select subject, Rick? Or is it the... Oh, this one, the I guess. Yeah, tool. you know, I've never used it, actually. So I don't actually know what it does. Is it like... Here, let me test it out. Yeah. <gasps> wow. I mean, it did pretty good. Whoa, wait, what's happening here? What's going on with this pink? I, I guess... Oh, okay. I guess it's like... It did huh, pretty good. It, did it doesn't pretty good actually. It doesn't know that you want the bow, but I mean, how would right, it? Right, that? but that's like better and than you could just add to it. I can just add to it. That's actually mm -hmm. really good. Oh my gosh! Shout out to them. See, I'm always learning on these streams too, so it's always fun. Well, you just when... do things the same way for so long, and then yeah, that's the thing. It's you like you sometimes you don't like expand sometimes. your horizons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great though. I didn't even know mm. that it was possible. Okay, Annika says um, it uses Adobe Sensei 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 that sounds to great. detect objects in the foreground, and the pink denotes the different objects you can add <gasps> or subtract from the selection. Oh my gosh! I know, okay. Rick. That's Rick, you're really good. In clutch on this stream. Honestly, was that Rick again? Yes, Rick again. Rick, Rick does it again. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. That's really cool. I did not know. I'm going to try and use it more often because there's definitely like, I mean, I think this is like a more like there's a lot of going on, but yeah. in other situations, I definitely oh, need yeah. like something like that, you know? Absolutely. So um, I'm going to go ahead and smooth that and I'm going to refine my, the edges here because of the little fuzzy, fuzzy little hairs there. Mm -hmm. And then I do want to see if I can include these little hairs as well. Little I don't whiskers. know if they, yeah, I don't know if they will. I guess we'll see. Oh, they seem to be getting selected, so that's good. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, cool. just a okay. couple minutes left. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it on there. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. So there we go. There's that. There's a little Aww. next frame. It's so, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to add that layer mask again because I do want to get rid of some of those like little yeah. remnants of the previous. The good thing is that it's on the same background. So like, you yeah. know, I don't have to like get too specific, but as long as I do those like ones that stick out the most. But that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, you guys. So that's pretty much how I'm like, how I build, you know, like a, a little GIF. Um, and we're going to continue it with these ones and we'll probably post it on Christmas. So, you know, yes, look out for it. <laughs> Because, yeah, we'll definitely be sharing it on Christmas. Um, and then 
make sure that you um, grab all of the different giveaways from this whole week. You guys can play around. There's so many different assets that you guys will be able to play around with, not just from our stream, but from everyone's streams, which is probably the best part of um, the holiday week. So we will definitely make sure that the assets are available after the stream for you guys. Um, and we would love to see how you guys play around with this. So like we mentioned, yes. um, please tag us. Please use the hashtag Adobe Live Holiday Week 2022 when you post this or any of the other um, things that you make from watching these streams. And um, we'll definitely make sure to put all the assets in the folder right we'll after the definitely, stream. <laughs> definitely make sure to put all the assets in and then make sure you guys stick around because there is more holiday content coming up right after this. And um, thank you so much for watching and being a part yeah. of the stream. And we will see you guys next year. Woo woo. Bye. Thank you.